they went up into a mountain to do what? To pray. He took them to the place of prayer. Many of you don't know that it is a great privilege to pray. To talk to him who owns the universe. I probably because we don't know how prayer works. Uh, some of the things I walk into now were prayers I prayed many years ago. And what I'm going to walk into in the days to come are the prayers I'm praying now. That's how it works. And I want you to understand that principle. Always pray. When you feel like, pray. When you don't feel like, pray. When you are happy, pray. When you are not happy, pray. When it's working, pray. When it's not working, pray. Just be praying. Something definitely will happen. And people will wonder, how did you come about this? That means in the place of prayer, something is what? Altered. But notice that the first thing that was altered was his face. God wants to alter your face. Let me say, God wants to alter you. Brethren, any prayer that doesn't change the man praying it is not yet prayer. The first thing prayer does is to change the prayer. You that is praying. And that's where many people miss it. The first wants God to change things externally. Sometimes he says, no, the external issues are not even my problem. You are the issue. I want to alter you. I want to change your makeup. I want to encounter you in a manner that something changes about you. And people just know that something has changed. And behold, they are talked with him. Two men. Eh? Were they people who were on earth at the time? Eh? Ah, these people came. They attended the prayer meeting. And you know it's interesting. It's as if three heavenly men with three earthly men. And the earthly men were sleeping. The heavenly men were praying. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine the privilege? If Moses walks in here now, how many of you would like to touch him? I mean Moses. How many of you would like to meet Elijah? Aha! Fire people. See, how did you bring down fire? In the place of prayer, you meet those you have never met. There are people you have never met. But when you go on your knees, they can come to your room. There are, there are types of people you start meeting when you start praying. Look at the manner of men that came to meet with him. And James, Peter and John, they had that privilege. Do you notice Bartholomew was not there? Eh? And when you talk about the pillars of the church, it is these three men. So when God wants to raise you a pillar, where will he carry you to? To the place of prayer. That's where men are made. Let us make <laughs> three tabernacles. They have gone. They have gone. They just saw them and they left. One for you. And one for Moses. Three. Three tabernacles. It has never been. And one for Elias. Look at how the Bible concluded. <laughs> Prayerless men don't know what they are saying. They are just talking jabberish. You don't know what you are talking about. This is my beloved son. What should you do? Yeah. So in the place of prayer, there is an expectation. And what is that expectation? You will hear him. You will hear what the Lord is saying. Now, I want you to understand this. Eh? Most times when prayer starts, it starts where? In the natural. You don't feel like it. Your body is saying, mm, 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 mm. I walked out on Saturday. Mm, 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 mm. 
is natural. In fact, most times it looks mechanical when it's starting. Am I correct? So the Bible is saying, why is it that the spiritual does not confess? Most times it starts as natural. It just starts like the hand of a man. But if you proceed, it will become the hand of God. Did you notice it in the life of Elijah? So don't worry that it's starting naturally. Eh? Sometimes when you receive the spirit of God and you are praying, your own doesn't even sound spiritual. Eh? How many of you feel your tongues does not sound spiritual? Uh-huh. Thank you for being honest. And you are praying, you are listening to the other brother. His own looks deeper. You say deep, he's calling to the deep. <laughs> Rakomo, Remoko. And some people know how to intimidate others in prayer. Shama kapo, rataka, rakata, rekete. And it's as if he's using AK-47 <laughs> and you are using our capiso. I don't know whether you understand. Leave those things. The Bible said, how be it? It was not the spiritual that came first, but the natural. But afterward, can I hear you say afterwards? Oh, let me hear you. Uh, you may start naturally, but what? Afterward. There is an afterward for you. You may be looking so natural now. But what? Afterward. That which is spiritual. You may not look spiritual now. Abby? Eh? There are some brethren you see them now. <laughs> It's a day canality. <laughs> now, it's all right. No problem. Maybe they have crowned you with canality. But hear the word of the Lord this morning. What is that? Afterward, we are in the place of prayer. You are asking the Lord, empty heaven into me. Let me not resemble you less. There are some people you see, you cannot mistake who their father is. Eh? That's what prayer should do for you this morning. Mount of what? Transfiguration. What does it mean to transfigure? To change somebody's shape spiritually. That's one thing prayer must do. That's one thing I want you to desire. Day by day, Lord, as I interact with you, do you know that Moses did not know he was changing? Eh? Did he know? For him, he's just interacting with God. Interacting with God. Interacting with God. Interacting with God. Only to come back. And he has changed. It is in the place of prayer that Jacob can become Israel. If Jabez will not die as Jabez, it is in the place of prayer. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me, 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 me. Before you start enlarging my coast, because there is a kind of person I will be, even if you enlarge my coast, I will scatter it. That boy said, give me. They gave him. Didn't they give him? Because he will not spare anything. They gave him. But what they gave him turned him into a pig manager. That was a prince. Then he said, I shall arise and go to my father. What's go to my father? Prayer. Going to the father. That's prayer. It's not gymnastics. It's just, I'm going to the father. In his loving arms. That's what prayer does. You come into the loving arms of the Father. Will you like to come to the place of prayer? If God succeeds in making you see this privilege. One hour with him is better than one hour with any president in this world. 